Fence Safety is brought to you by Electrobraid Fence. A horse is like an accident waiting to happen. I've seen a horse that ran into a fence and basically caved in its skull. I've seen a horse that uh, in a thunderstorm ran into a fence and a board broke and drove the board into the stomach of the horse. I had a mare, in fact, the mare that's right behind me in the pasture as a yearling. We put her out with the rest of the yearlings and they drove her into the corner of a wood fence and uh, it broke when she hit it and it drove it up into her, um, into her front legs, between her leg and her chest. In the process of raising colts, I've probably lost six or seven colts running into the pipe and cable. I've had them break their necks, break legs. I've had them just kick over the cable and get tangled up in it, and it just leaves a terrible scar on them that nobody wants to buy. So it's, over the years, it's cost me a lot of money. Lacerations and punctures are usually caused by splintering of board fences as they age. Pipe fencing can cause uh, crushing injuries. The horse can run into the, to the pipe or the post. It doesn't give, and so you get a lot of fractures. Particularly the strand type wire fences are very prone to uh, encircling a horse's leg and uh, stripping uh, tissue right uh, from the bone. The basic requirements of a fence are visibility and a smooth surface, something that the horse will not impale himself on. So if you can come up with something that would keep the horse away from the fence, then they're not going to get hurt. Characteristics of Electrobaid that make it safe, one is visible. The fact that there's an electric shock that the horse can receive, they learn to respect the fence. A Hollywood Dunnett it is a horse that when other horses get close to his paddock or something, he kind of wants to go over and lean on the fence. And he did do that with the pipe and cable. Since we put the Electrobaid in, his track has moved about three feet away from the fence. He says, it's gonna get me, bite me, and I stay away from it. Well, naturally, if they're not trying to get close to it or doing anything with it, it's, it's safe. I used to have lots of little vet bills where the horses would hang a leg in the fence and get a small cut, and I'd have to call the vet out to sew it up and things like that. And with the Electro Braid, it is just keep the horses off the fence. I don't have any of those injuries. The possibility of, a, of, of an injury even with electro braid is there, but it's so much reduced. I had a foal run down the pasture one day and didn't stop and hit the braid and kind of slid down the braid and all we got out of it was just a small uh, rope burn. If it had been a board fence, I'm sure the baby would have broken its neck. I have personally seen horses uh, run into an electro braid fence and suffer very minimal injury. The fence minder is kind of the newest, greatest addition to you know, an already good product. You know, it gives us peace of mind. It's hooked up to a telephone at my house to alert me if there's a problem. And if we have a horse impact fence or if a tree falls on the fence, in other words, if we get a voltage drop, it sets off an alarm for us and, and you know, instantly warns us. Electrobraid fencing would have prevented all of the injuries that I've seen. There's no question. The horse injury in this kind of fence would be, I bet it'd be nil. I have no fear whatsoever about leaving Lark behind Electrobraid fence. If you're not fencing with Electrobraid now, see for yourself what you're missing. Electrobraid, get the video and make Electrobraid part of your future. Well, I don't know how you could make a fence any safer. I mean, the horses respect that fence so much, they don't even get near it. They just respect that fence all the way around. Fence Safety has been brought to you by Electrobraid Fence.